4,720 pounds. This is a Rockwood 2304S here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. It's got some history to it. Some of it good, some of it less so. We're gonna try to represent it fairly. We're gonna try to show you both sides of the equation so you can make an educated purchase decision. My two cents on this thing before we get too far along. If you are a person who's good with a screw gun, who doesn't mind putting one weekend's worth of sweat equity into this thing, it's a freaking steal. But if what you're looking for is ready to rock straight out of the package, don't want to do nothing to it, just want to go camping, you may consider looking at another offering here at Halet RV, knowing that obviously we will shoot you straight. And RVs like this are a good example of why you really should seriously consider bringing your business to Halet RV. We're just a decent, straightforward place. Like, I'm not saying that this thing is like something you should be scared about. I'm just saying it has some things you need to know about because at a glance, it looks aces. And it's been kept clean. It's uh, very well kept, actually, in terms of cleanliness inside and out. There are some mechanical challenges here. And I don't have the full ownership history on this one. That's one of the hard parts about used RVs. But I have good experience at looking at used RVs and piecing together stories. This is a Murphy bed model. However, the Murphy bed is not currently functional. I think what happened was the Murphy bed did not get properly latched once before transit. I believe that this latch up here was left undone. I believe that this latch was the only one holding it. And <clears throat> as the RV bounced around in transit, which they do, you can see how that bracket over there got beat up a little bit. Well, once that bracket lost a grip on those latches, it stressed the Murphy bed mechanism. And you can see how there's obvious problems there. Now that is repairable, but not at the dollars that you're looking at on this one. This is a consignment sale. Halet RV does not own this RV. We are selling this for some folks, but we are not going to only tell you half the truth. This is kind of tricky for us because we do need to represent two parties here, a buyer and a seller, but we will do so fairly. You are going to know what you're getting into before you get into it. And we operate with integrity at Halet RV. I will not ask you to drive four hours sight unseen and uh, to see something that has an undisclosed defect if I can possibly avoid it. If we know something, we will say something. So, again, if you're good with a screw gun, you don't mind monkeying with something for a weekend, this thing is way below book value. But, uh, it, it, and it's been kept clean. You know, there's no, like, major things. I mean, well, the Murphy bed's a major thing, but you get the point. There's no, like, I can't find leaks. I can't find problems like that. It just needs a couple little pieces of love with someone who has some, uh, you know, uh, mechanical handy person type experience. Um, the uh, U-Dinette over here uh, could be the primary sleeping space, which evidently is what the previous owner was doing. They said, eh, you know, Murphy bed's messed up. I'll just sleep over here in this 7 foot by uh, 44 inch deep U-Dinette. Now, this is fully aluminum framed itself, just like the rest of the RV. This is laminated roof, walls, floor, slides, everything. And that big old free-floating table could easily float outside for picnic time as well. All of the windows are going to open for airflow, especially those slide side windows. Looks like all original electronics. This was made before everything became Bluetooth and streaming friendly, so it is DVD, uh, CD, stereo up there. And the original factory TV and everything. And as far as I know... And I haven't personally checked this, but as far as I know, all appliances are in good working order. Now, I don't know that for sure. And anytime we're looking at a used RV, what we can do at Halet RV for you so that you can buy with confidence, because I don't expect you to buy it and then find out, give our team a call. If the RV looks like, hey, that one could be the right one under specific uh, under the right conditions, then call our team, we'll get it pulled up to the building, we'll get it plugged in, and we can demonstrate the working order of everything before you go dropping your paycheck or cutting a check on this thing. That's absolutely not a problem for us. Uh, one thing I do like, you know, decent kitchen storage, but I like that vertical pantry. That's something little campers often lack. And this also has just a bang-up rear bathroom. Big old wide eight-foot bathroom with uh, just tons of counter space back here. And I like how the power outlets are down below the countertop level right there. Big sink, too. And tons of leg room in front of the toilet or room to actually get dressed. And that window back here, which obviously, yes, has a privacy shade, uh, does let the bathroom look and feel much larger. 
Up top here, you can see that we've got the larger vent fan, which the uh, Rockwood team has been using for multiple years. And we've got dedicated linen space right here in the bathroom. Bathrooms are one of those things that Rockwood has just always done very well. It's one of the things that I love about carrying them here at Haywood RV. And the fact that they were ahead of the curve on things like this, like having a corner shower instead of a travel trailer tub, they've always been ahead of that curve. This RV spent a lot of time in Arizona, is my understanding. And when I hear that, naturally I go, okay, so what's the exterior look like? Did we, you know, that's a lot of, that's, that's heavy sun country. Do we have some wicked sun exposure? And overall, it has handled the weather very well, which indicates the previous owner was very, very good about staying on top of their cleaning and UV conditioning routines. And when I get up on the roof, that's all the more proof of that that I needed. But like as I sweep here right down the sidewall below all these breeze windows, you can see how the skin still has a good sheen and gleam to it. The decals are not peeled and faded, especially the darker swooshes, uh, because those tend to absorb more sunlight. The tires all look to be in good condition. I did notice that the front tire on the camp side of the RV has been replaced. Um, it's the correct size and everything. It's the correct grade of tire. So evidently maybe at some point they had uh, a flat tire or something and had to swap one out. But all the tires that are on it actually look pretty darn good right now. We are going to get up on that ladder in just a minute. But before we do, I did want to point out that we do have a power awning, outside grill hookups, the larger handle to get in and out of the RV. But one note on the awning, you will notice, and I noticed this the first time I was on the roof, if I zoom in up here, you will notice a little bit of uh, tape at the top there. We questioned the previous owner on that, and they said uh, that there were a couple little pinholes in it, so they uh, taped over those pinholes with some uh, you know, awning patch tape, and then they taped down the entire length of the awning at the base to help strengthen and reinforce it. So there's the explanation of that. In terms of cleanliness, this roof is clean. I mean, they, again, they were on top of their uh, cleaning routine. I actually found a, uh, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Maybe, hold on, here it comes. <coughs> Pardon me, holy cow, excuse me. So I found some uh, roof cleaning solution inside one of the baggage compartments. So they were very on top of that. The seals all look to be factory original seals. They are definitely weather checked. Um, they still have a fair level of pliability to them. They are at the stage where my recommendation is if you purchase this RV, one of the first things I would do is get up on the roof with some uh, a tube of like self-leveling sealant and just go through and do little touch-ups, which is normal routine care and maintenance and upkeep. What is not normal routine care, maintenance and upkeep is using duct tape, it looks like, to go around those vents that maybe are questionable. Um, I would likely recommend swapping that out for a more traditional uh, proven sealant and it does look like the uh, the seal around the rear bathroom vent here is holding, but it's, you know, it's like, you know, cliffhanger when Sylvester Stallone's holding on and like someone's slipping, it's about to give up. So overall, like I said, I go back to my original statement. If you're a person who is pretty handy, you can put a, a weekend's worth of work, two or three days of work into this thing. I think it could be an awesome RV, especially for the money. Uh, if it, and given the money, if it's something you want it professionally repaired, you could do so and still get a fair tag on it. So you, it's kind of like a build your own adventure sort of thing, guys. Other than that, obviously, this is our little consignment lot where we sell RVs for other people, much smaller than our main location. But you can see that we have constantly changing inventory, things coming in and out. And obviously we shoot you straight on this stuff. So if it's not this one, give us a call. We have other opportunities here at Halet RV and whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package, deals, RV delivery and everything in between. We do it all. So take care, stay safe, have fun and happy camping everyone. And obviously we got some roof work going on over here. Excellent, that needed done.